We do not like to be called nga uto uto. As a matter of truth, I understand and uh, I fully know nga I mean tayo, but we hated that word and we don't like to be called the nga uto uto word. It's just another word nga tabod kanang nang kan titagalog katanga. We hated that word. Oh, I remember when I was young. When I hear that word nga kunadang ututo kanya agbetak ti matak. Bumtak iti matak nga agsangit nga grabe ti riknak nga ayo may hako kay ti may iyaban ti kase. But don't you know why it is ang wanan ni ti Dios? Ano kada tayo iti tatao nga we do not like to be called nga ututo but we are living a life nga ututo iti Diablo. Well, ano kada tayo iti maut uto iti Diablo And I'm very sure you don't like to be called it like that. But when you try to look at your life, kasya iti bagsak mo. The devil had deceived your life. The devil had deceived you, thinking that you are doing what is right. You have all the time in this world. You enjoy all the things that you do. But as a matter of truth, it is ang wana ni ti Dios. You are just wasting every hour and every minute. And at that every time nga mauyo uyos da gini ay minuto kan unas, mauyo uyos matikararwam nga mapanit yung pierno. And that is the reason why when Jesus Christ, the Adai di Chimpu iti ministry na, He begged to the people to repent. And when He said to repent, Adai di urgency nga masapul tata, haan nyo nga ipabigat. Um... We are thinking and ada yung panunod tayo nga ti panang awis ni Christ Jesus kat it is as gentle as kuna tayo nga niya nga, yaksimsimpot kayo ha no adat ni Chimpo, mawatam ni Jesus Christ to tibiyag mo but let me tell you this in the ministry ni Christ Jesus that is not how and that is not what God what Christ did when He presented the message of repentance and the message of faith but as a matter of truth He urged them. He gave them the greatest threat. Nga mabaling nga mga idurun ni Tirik na kang panunod na nga as soon as possible after hearing them inside. Dagos kung mga nagbabawi na gito yung nga datao, tiba so nga. Dahil ito ipagtutungtungan tayo tiba ito yung malam. We are going to talk about why now? Why now? Why should I repent now? Why should I place my faith in Christ now, not tomorrow, now? You know why? That, that is because I see four reasons why. Why we need to think about this now and not tomorrow. Now, haan nga no next week. Well, uh, the book... And it portion it is out yapu that we are going to study this afternoon. It's found it in Luke chapter 16, verse 19 to 31. And I understand that a lot of you had heard it in a story about the Lazarus and the rich man. Let me remind you, nga parable This is a real story nga nakita ni Christ Jesus. And he tried to present it to the people to warn them that now is the time to panakay salakan. Haan nga no bigat? Numabalbalin. There are two people nga na-mention ito. Ni Lazarus, then Sumaruno, the rich man. Ni Lazarus, the Bible says, he had nothing in the time na. He owned nothing. He owned nothing. And he's an equal. And yaman nga bigat. Nga mabalin nga kay lalastog na. Even the family, he lost his family. He was treated as a curse of the land. Na ilunod je ili. He was just there, outside the city. Begging and dependent. Iti arasaw nga magapu de may sang anabak nang that was mentioned. When it comes, iti acceptance to people, he was rejected. The Bible says, even in the area of health, he has nothing. And there came a time. 
because of this problem that he has physically, he died. He doesn't have anything that he does. Friend, position, wealth, health. But the only thing that he has is his faith. Can I help you? Jainagan nga Lazarus kat kat nga sawan kat God is my help. It implies that here was a man having nothing in the worldly treasures, even the health itself, katawan. But he has something that he treasures in life, and that is he trusted God as the source of his help throughout the rest of his life. Dedikat na sawan di Lazarus. And when he died, the Bible says, Angels came from heaven, and he was ushered. Ngamapan, iti presinsya, iti Diyos. The man also died, the other man died as well. And this is why I am begging you for this afternoon. And this is why I am urging you that you ought, you must repent now, you must think about this matter now because of this reason. Here was the rich man. Even though he had everything in his life, the Bible says he was wearing a fine purple, purple uh, cloth. Ngayon, timabali nga mga iba doon lang dagi dyan, kat dagi dyan, matangtangad nga tao dyan ili. Timabali lang nga mga iba doon dyan, kat dagi dyan, tao, people who are distinguished, people who are highly respected in the land. These people who wore purple cloth, fine linen cloth, are people who are even so religious in the land. But when he died, there is something that happened. He went to hell. He went directly to hell. Kapsat. And kunay ti Biblia. There in torment. All the things that he had dito daga. Did not even help him to escape the fire of hell. Why should you repent now, my friend? You need to repent now. You need to receive the Lord Jesus Christ. You must receive the Lord Jesus Christ now. Haan nga no bigat? Haan nga no next week? Because first, your cry will be too late when you will be in hell. Verse 22, the verse 23, that is the account nga napasama ko the rich man. 23, kung na na in hell, he lifted up his eyes. Being in torment, he sees Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom. And he cried and said, Father Abraham. He cried and said, Father Abraham, yes, he cried. But his crying is already late. Uray pa yung pagpakaasit yung may isa nga tao. Nata dyan yung pierno isuna, nana nga yung simpati biyag na tatanga si bibiyag pa isuna. Let me tell you this. It is already late. The Bible says, yes, he sincerely cried, he passionately cried, he begged me, Abraham, but all those cries is already late. That's why now is the time to salvation and not tomorrow, not next week. It is now nga awatom ni Christ Jesus. It is now nga isarwam ti basal mo. Because there will come a time where you will cry and it will all be late. Why should we repent and place our faith in Christ Jesus now? Secondly, because 
Because in hell, mercy, God's mercy is absent. Yet 24, Kunana, Father Abraham, have mercy on me. He is in torment. Mas in sinit isuna iti apoy. Matutuk isuna iti apoy. Agurek. Di ba iti hudyo kat napintas? Iti lamay na kat nagmayat iti ikakastana. Well, probably the land gave him a very good ceremony, religious ceremony. But still he ended up in hell. Since he was a highly respected man in the land, would you think the family did not offer a special ritual? Ngamayat kuma iti parayon iti biyeg na. But still, he ended up in hell, being in torment. He pleaded for mercy. He begged for God's mercy. He begged for God's assistance. He begged for God's rescue. He begged for God's concern and care. He even used ni Abraham to mediate kanyana, ng mga isakit kanyana. But even Abraham as his father, grand-grandfather, great-great ancestor, Awan na itulong na neither kanyam anya ti pagbatbatayam Are you confident? Have you placed your trust? It is ceremony dagiti ugaling nga parparte dagiti ritual iti church ceremony that will lead you to heaven the Bible does not teach you that it has the power dagito eh nga mang ispal kanyam nga mang itod kanyam ti mang Ito tiya siniya po Diyos. Mercy only comes. Nga adapto'y kadaga and you place your faith. You repent of your sins. Ijay cross ni Kristo. And without the day, punati sa uniya po Diyos. There will be no mercy available here on earth. Neither is a hell. Mercy is just extended to my sang atao who will fully trust the cross of the Calvary of our Lord Christ Jesus. And in hell, mercy is not available. Mercy, God's mercy, will never be given. But forever and ever in torment, a man would suffer the hell. And if you won't still trust the finished work, Nicrisius, hell awaits your soul. Why should we repent now? Thirdly, because in hell there is no special treatment. Whenever Father Abraham have mercy on me and send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. He requested a simple request, just a simple request. And that request is just a tip of water. Please send Lazarus to send to come here and put a drop of water on my tongue. Abraham. It can't be. You have enjoyed everything, Jilubung, and never thought about this eternity. You've talked about Tinagimas Ngamakan. Pagkwartaan, pagkasinsuan ni Tidaga, pagsikatan ni Tinagan, nangatong adal.
but you have never thought of your eternal destiny. Daito itibagsak mo and it's already late. Here in this place, VIP treatment is not available to anyone. Anybody who will be sent and who will be punished and who will be thrown here forever and ever. They will remain here, experiencing iti ngarat ngating ipan kapusti sakit iti bay pay ngapuy. And my friend, that is the reason why now is the day ng parunutem ti eternidad mo kanawatem ni Christ Jesus. Because tomorrow you don't know. You don't know the end of your life. The mark of expiration date is not marked keto or your in your on your forehead. That's why now is the day of salvation. And don't you take that message and challenge and warning lightly because this might be your last day or probably this month will be your last month here on earth and hell is excited aglaglag tuti apuyin ng aguru ulay tikararwan Lastly, why should I repent now and place my faith in Christ now and think about this matter now? Lastly, because in hell, uh, memories will haunt you. 26 in Ghana, 31, the rich man thought, of his family, of his brother, of his father, of his mother, of his sister, of his relatives, of his friends. And Konana, please send back me Lazarus, that he may bring the message of hope to my brothers and sisters, my relatives, my friends, so that when he... Dumtong niya chimpo nga matay da, handa mat nga mapanditoy. Oh, what a missionary in hell! Oh, what a missionary evangelistic zeal in hell, but it's already late. Here was the account that talks about a man who was so concerned for souls, Jehel. And tata, han mo pa'y makita da giti tatao, tata, na concerned that the family da. That is the reason why I started editing a video for us nga ma-reach out to friends and family tayo. At first, to the few people nga I offered that yung ministry ko na da, my family don't need that yung nangagdamot ng pastor, han nga kasapula nun, handa pala gwibuya. Oh my goodness. They have not learned from the missionary man in hell, crying in pain, begging for mercy, begging for consideration. No. I have already preachers, Moses and leaders there, the earth, and if they won't listen, they will also end up here. Are you concerned that your family? And that's why I thank you, my friend. Especially the Giti Minsahi that talks about salvation. You have been sharing to your family because of your great concern. Nahan mo kaya nga mga share kanyada and that you lang tichans nga may share mo to bring up, to give a message kanyada nga na a record that will lead them to salvation. And you share it to your family. I have, I give you my commendation. I give you my salute, my friend. But you who, who doesn't even take care, who doesn't even care and think about the souls of your brothers and sisters right now, then let me give you an advice. Prepare them to hell if you won't prepare them right now.
If you won't like and if you don't like to tell them the way of salvation that is only in Christ, then I give you my advice, prepare them how to stay and live there in hell. But as for me, and some of the viewers I will not stop speaking about the gospel of Christ because it is the power of God that will only save man from the wrath of God in hell. Oh my friend, now is the time to panakay sa Tomorrow, isuti uto uto ti dimunyo. Ado pay uras mo. Do you like to be called uto uto ti dimunyo? Oh my friend, let's stop this foolishness that is happening right now. Ayos kasta ti dimunyo kada. I beg you, my friend, you run to Christ and trust His finished work, your cross. Data basal mo nga data ngay bibag panunot ka data. If I were you, ibatim data nga basal, isaruwam data nga basal, because if you will not repent of that sin, that sin will prepare you to hell. Oh, my friend, Thousands and millions have already been there in hell. Why will you die and why will you be there? Why will you reject him? Oh, my friend. The only way to escape hell is by placing your faith in what Christ has done on the cross. And from iti puso mga rumbar iti ngiwat mo, ibagam kini Apo Diyos mo, kini Kristo Jesus, Apo Diyos, Heso Kristo, si kalang iti mga isalakan kanyak. Salakan na kani Apo iti basul ko. Pakawanan na iti basul ko, dahil iti basul nga rito eh. Na ha nagrigat ko kan ay ay atak unay pakawanan na kapulis. Pati day ti basol nga ray toy isurrender ko kanyam. Isurrender ko ti pamatik jay naramit mo jay cross ti kalbaryo. Ket talikudak na ti basol nga ray toy. Nga magisaga na lang kanyak ti impierno. Ap kapsat. Ibagam di jay kini apulis nga nagapu ti puso. Kat nora midam di jay just like ni Lazarus. Ura ino simply simply ti biag mo. Awan man hangkaman nga naikan ti adu di ti daga. Dimtang ti patay kini Lazarus and the only thing that he has is his faith in God. And God honored his faith. And he went to the place of comfort that God had prepared. Pakpakasa kanyo ko sa akin. Pakpakasa kanyo. God bless.